So most meatball recipes contain gluten of some sort, bread, breadcrumbs, panko, something like that. But this recipe is made completely gluten-free. I make these often, they're simple, I use them for meal prep, they come together quickly. So let me walk you through the steps and show you just how easy it's gonna be. Now my meatballs always include ground beef and pork. I love the blend. I know a lot of people use lamb as well. It's very expensive in our area, so I hardly ever use it for my meatballs, but I do use a higher fat um, ground beef, the pork. So once they're added into your bowl, you're gonna wanna add all of the rest of your ingredients. I always use kind of a salty cheese too. Parmesan's one of my favorites. And then one thing that I like to do is I like to mix it with my hands as opposed to a mixer. A mixer can really make the meatballs dense. When you use your hands, you can control how much it's mixed, when you wanna stop, how you wanna mix it, all the things. Now I use I always keep regular oats in my house. So what I do is I put them into the food processor, blend them up just a little bit, and that's what I use as a binder in my meatballs. You can also use quick cooking oats as well. That might be easier if you don't keep the regular ones on hand. Now once it's all mixed together, you're gonna start scooping it. I line a baking sheet with parchment. You can see it's not perfect, but it does make for a little easier cleanup. Form these into balls. You're gonna bake these at a fairly high temperature pretty quickly. And then if you're gonna do them like I did, if you noticed at the beginning of the video, I threw them into marinara <coughs> and let them cook in that in the crock pot. I do this kind of as a meal prep in the morning, not meal prep, but I do this in the morning. And that way they're ready to go in the evening when the kids get home. You can see it came together very quickly. All together, cooking time, putting it together, it usually takes me about I don't know, maybe 20 minutes to make these meatballs. Now, you don't have to do them in marinara like I did. You can serve them just like they are. You can serve them in an Alfredo sauce. You can do anything with them. They are so simple to make. Now, of course, don't forget to subscribe.